Hi guys, welcome to Eleven Study Group. Today we're going to be learning how to code a ping pong game in Scratch. So first, we're, we're going to choose a backdrop. I'm going to choose Neon Tunnel. Then a sprite. I'm going to choose Ball. So first, to make the ball move, we're getting this one, this code. Move 10 steps. And then from the control, we'll get forever. So it moves by itself. Oh, it seems to be stuck on the edge. So we go to motion, and then we get, if on edge, bounce. So it bounces all everywhere. But it only moves this here to here. So what we're going to do is point in direction 45. So we're going to get this and type in 45. You have to make sure all this happens when you click the green flag. So when we click the green flag, the ball bounces around all the place. Then we have to go and get another spray. This spray is the paddle. So to make the paddle move, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the, when green flag is clicked, we're gonna get the forever loop and then we're gonna get to motion and then set X, we're going to get here, mouse X. So this is, when green flag is clicked, forever, set X to mouse X. So when you move your mouse, so does the paddle. But the ball is not reacting to the paddle. So what we're going to do for that is, we click the ball sprite, and then we're going to, add a code to bounce it off the pad. So first, we're gonna click when green flag is clicked, and then get the forever loop, get the if then loop, and we go into sensing, and we click here. But instead of it saying touching mouse pointer, we're gonna change it to paddle. After that, we're gonna go to motion, and then we're gonna get this turn 15 degrees and instead of 15 degrees we're going to change it into 180 degrees and then we're going to get move 10 steps put it under the 180 degrees change it into 15 steps and then go to control and then we have to get it here and this number has to be exact it's 0 0.5 seconds and after that, when we press the green flag, the ball should bounce off the paddle. And then you might think the game is already done, but it isn't. We, we still have to add a score to the game. And then to do that, we have to go to variables. And then we have to go to make a variable. And I, I'm going to name it score. Now we have the score variable. Now we're going to do change my variable by one. We're going to get that. We're going to change that into score. And then we're going to insert the change score block, insert the change score block right above the turn 180 degrees block. And then we're going to make it reset the score every time the game ends. So we're going to get when green flag is clicked, and then we're going to go back here, and then we're going to get set score to zero. So the game restarts every single time. Then we're gonna add the line sprite. And we're gonna put it on the bottom.
And then we're going to code this by saying when green flag is clicked, go to control, get forever. And then if we get the if then loop, and then we're going to go to sensing again. This and change it into ball. So when green flag is clicked forever, if touching ball, then what we're going to do, we're going to go to controls and we're going to click stop all. So if it touch, if you accidentally miss and it touches the red line, the game stops. You can call this game over. And that's it. So I'll just save this and see our project page. Okay. Now, let's click the green flag and play. Oh, I got a score. I got another score. And another. Now let's see what happens when we miss. Okay, when it hits the line, it now stopped the whole game. Now this is how you make a ping pong game. You can play this with your friends to see how much score you each get. Thank you for watching and bye.